Five dives that you must absolutely add to your bucket list. Of course, number one has to be the Great Bear Reef. I know this is what so many people say. Spending the last year diving off of Ailey Beach at Bait Reef or even further out around the Great Bear Reef, the Outer Reef, if you get a chance, get onto Mike Ball. That's the most epic diving ever. The Great Bear Reef is one of the seven wonders of the world. Reef ecosystem that stretches 2,700 kilometers. There's over 3,000 individual reefs. It is a super colony of creatures living together, building this structure. The marine biodiversity is incredible and it is at risk. Therefore, diving there, helping support the industry here gives value to the Great Barrier Reef. I mean, Queensland has millions of dollars coming in from tourism every single year. And the more value we give to something financially is how we have the better chance to protect it. Does that make sense? Because if the Great Barrier Reef degrades too much, we're gonna lose a lot of tourism. Yeah, the governments don't want that. So there is incentive to protect the Great Barrier Reef, to input stronger climate change rules in Australia, to make sure protect the coastline from excessive runoff from scuba dive on the Great Bear Reef. Next dive must do has to be in the cenotes in Mexico. I haven't had a chance to do this, but from all the footage I have seen, it is absolutely breathtaking. I mean, definitely consider doing some of your cavern diver specialties. Make sure you go to a dive organization, dive shop that offers guided dives. Check out my recent ranking tier video if you're curious about specialties. But yeah, Cenotes is definitely on my bucket list. Three is in Malapascua in the Philippines. As I mentioned before in my video about my favorite shark, the Thresher shark is my absolute favorite shark and this is one of the best places in the world that you can see them most consistently. They usually live at around 500 meters of depth but every morning at around 5 a.m. they come up to the sea mound which is about 30 meters deep and you have a chance to see this incredible apex predator just cruising around in its natural environment. They are endangered shark species so going again just like I said about the Great Barrier Reef making sure you're there uh, supporting you know, the thresher shark dives helps us have more reason to protect Thresher sharks. Four, I will say it again, Stradbroke Island off of Brisbane. It is such an underrated dive spot. And every single winter, there's an aggregation of gray nurse sharks that show up there that were extremely endangered even just 20 years ago, but their populations have rebounded a lot. They're very scary looking sharks. They have a lot of sharp teeth but they are very chill, very docile, and you just get to swim through this deep channel where there is up to 20 of them at any point. You can also see them off of Julian's Rocks, which is in Byron Bay, so another great spot to go. While in summer, that whole area is also one of the greatest aggregations of leopard sharks, Summer dives might not have the best visibility, but it was a manta ray cleaning station. We would see mantas, we would see leopard sharks, bull rays, turtles. The megafauna was just insane. On multiple dives, I've also heard reports that they saw humpback whales, dolphins, and they once, probably more than once, but they once did see a great white shark uh, in the winter months when the water is a bit colder. It is not normal for great whites to go so far up north along the east coast of Australia, but it just shows that this spot is a really hot spot for all marine species. So add that to your bucket list. Not a lot of people go diving there. They don't know it as a world-class destination. So yeah, off of Stradbroke Island, you can go with the dive shop I used to work at for five years, go dive Brisbane, or there's also a dive shop on Stradbroke Island called Manta Lodge. And the final dive I wanna tell you guys about is uh, basically any dive with sea lions. They are such playful creatures underwater. I like to call them the puppy dogs of the sea. I got to dive with them off of Montague Island in South Australia. However, I'm sure there's many dives around the world that allow you to dive with sea lions. And the tip is play as much as you can with the sea lions. Yes, your air consumption is not going to be as great. Luckily, the dive is only you know five to 10 meters deep, 
but the more bubbles you make, the more playful you are, the more you hop from side to side, the more likely they are to be curious about you and play with you. I got to do this dive with my dad back in 2018 and it is one of my absolute highlights. I can't wait to be able to dive it again. Every time I've seen sea lions, underwater has just been absolutely amazing. They're so playful, so cute. And the marine biodiversity in these areas is also amazing. There's a lot of kelp, Port Jackson sharks, and just a lot of creatures you don't see in more tropical climates. It is cooler water, so make sure to wear a seven mil or potentially a dry suit. Although I did find my seven mil allowed me more movement. I have a whole video about when I went there in 2018. It was one of my first videos I made on this YouTube channel, so it's definitely not the greatest quality. Maybe I'll redo it at some point, maybe I'll make a trip down there again, but those are my five must-do dives around the world. I know three of them are in Australia, but what can you do? This is where I've done majority of my diving. Let me know what dive sites you recommend I check out. I can't wait to travel, do some more diving. Let me know down below and check out my uh, seal video if you wanna see little me. <laughs>